Located approximately 93 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, this seemingly idyllic island harbors a deadly secret. Its lush vegetation and pristine beaches belie a sinister truth. This island is a haven for one of the most venomous snakes on Earth. From a distance, Ilha da Queimada Grande might appear inviting, a tropical paradise untouched by human hands. But beneath this veneer of beauty lies a silent menace, a threat that has kept people away for centuries. The island's most notorious inhabitants are the Golden Lancehead Vipers, a species found nowhere else on Earth. These snakes, with their distinctive golden scales and lightning-fast reflexes, are the undisputed masters of this domain. Their venom, a potent cocktail of toxins, is designed to kill quickly and efficiently. With no natural ground-level prey, they have evolved to hunt birds, striking with deadly precision from the branches of trees. Their venom, capable of melting human flesh, is a testament to their evolutionary prowess. The snakes, cut off from other populations, have developed unique characteristics that set them apart from their mainland counterparts. The silence of isolation has only amplified these tales, turning the island into a whispered warning. This rainforest covers much of the island's interior. The lack of natural freshwater sources adds another layer of danger, making survival a constant challenge for any creature that finds itself stranded there. Its lush vegetation conceals a multitude of dangers, from venomous spiders and scorpions to the ever-present threat of a snake bite. Even the most experienced explorers would think twice before venturing into this unforgiving wilderness. Recognizing the extreme danger posed by Ilha da Quimara Grande, the Brazilian government has declared it a restricted area. Access to the island is strictly prohibited except for select researchers and members of the Brazilian Navy, who make infrequent visits to maintain the automated lighthouse. This decision, while protecting human life, has also shrouded the island in an even greater veil of mystery. The stories of Ilha da Queimada Grande serve as a chilling reminder that there are still places on Earth where humans are not welcome. Over the years, Snake Island has claimed countless lives. Each death, a grim reminder of the power that nature holds. These stories, passed down through generations, have become woven into the fabric of Brazilian folklore. They serve as cautionary tales, warning of the dangers that lurk within the island's embrace. Today, we will delve into the most horrifying incidents that have transpired on Snake Island. In the early 1900s, the Brazilian government constructed a lighthouse on Il da Queimada Grande. This beacon, a solitary sentinel against the relentless onslaught of the Atlantic, was entrusted to the care of a lighthouse keeper and his family. The lighthouse keeper, a man of weathered hands and stoic demeanor, carried the weight of responsibility with a quiet strength. Their three children, their laughter echoing across the desolate landscape, found adventure and solace in the shadow of the lighthouse. The family lived a life of isolation, their only connection to the outside world the flickering light that emanated from the lighthouse each night. Supplies were delivered by boat at irregular intervals, their arrival a cause for both celebration and trepidation. The children, their spirits undimmed by the isolation, found solace in their shared experiences, their bond forged in the crucible of their unique existence. One fateful night, as a storm raged around the island, tragedy struck. The family, huddled together for warmth and comfort, was awakened by a slithering, hissing sound that seemed to emanate from the very walls of their dwelling. The golden lanceheads, driven by the storm and the allure of warmth, had infiltrated their sanctuary. The lighthouse keeper, his face etched with terror, urged his family to flee, their only hope of survival the small boat that lay moored offshore. As the family stumbled through the darkness, the wind howling like a banshee in their ears, the snakes struck. Their bites, swift and silent, delivered a potent venom that attacked the nervous system, causing excruciating pain and paralysis. The lighthouse keeper, his love for his family overriding his own fear, fought valiantly to protect his loved ones, but the snakes were relentless. The lighthouse keeper, his heart shattered, watched helplessly as his family perished around him. When the storm finally subsided, leaving in its wake a deathly silence, the island revealed its gruesome secret. The lighthouse, its beacon extinguished, stood as a silent testament to the tragedy that had unfolded within its walls. The lighthouse keeper's family, their bodies broken and lifeless, lay scattered across the island, their skin discolored by the venom. The story of the lighthouse keeper and his family would be passed down through generations, a cautionary tale whispered on the wind. In the 1950s, a seasoned fisherman, his weathered face a testament to years spent battling the elements, found himself drawn to the legend of Ilha da Queimada Grande. He had heard the whispers of the island's deadly inhabitants, the tales of those who had ventured too close and paid the ultimate price. But for this seasoned mariner, the lure of the unknown, the promise of uncharted fishing grounds proved too strong to resist.
The locals, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the sea, spoke of Ilha da Queimada Grande in hushed tones. They warned the fishermen of the golden lanceheads, their venom as deadly as any storm. But the fishermen, hardened by years of battling the elements, dismissed their warnings as mere superstition. He trusted in his own skills, his ability to read the sea and the sky, to navigate the perils that lay in wait. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the choppy waters, the fisherman steered his boat towards Ilha da Coimada Grande. He dropped anchor just offshore, his mind filled with visions of a bountiful catch. Unbeknownst to the fisherman, his every move was being observed by the island's true masters. The golden lanceheads, their scales shimmering in the moonlight, sensed the arrival of an intruder. The following morning, the fisherman's boat was found drifting aimlessly near Ilha de Coimada Grande, its anchor line severed. The fisherman was gone, vanished without a trace, his fate a chilling reminder of the island's deadly embrace. A search party, organized by the worried locals, ventured cautiously towards Ilha da Queimada Grande. They found the fisherman's body deep within the island's interior, his skin discolored by venom. The allure of Ilha da Queimada Grande extended far beyond the realm of fishermen and explorers. In the shadowy underworld of illegal wildlife trafficking, the island's golden lanceheads had acquired a mythical status. In the 1980s, as whispers of the island's reptilian riches reached the ears of a group of smugglers, a daring plan began to take shape. These men, hardened by years of operating outside the law, saw Ilha da Queimada Grande not as a death trap but as a treasure trove waiting to be plundered. The smugglers, their faces weathered by years of sun and salt water, gathered in a dimly lit tavern on the outskirts of Sao Paulo. Their leader, a man known only as Capitao, outlined their plan with a confidence that belied the danger of their undertaking. They would set sail under the cover of darkness, their boat laden with supplies and equipment, their target, the golden lanceheads, their venom worth more than its weight in gold on the black market. The smugglers landed on Ilha da Queimada Grande under a moonless sky, the only sound the gentle lapping of waves against the hull of their boat. Armed with machetes and flashlights, they ventured cautiously into the island's interior. The golden lanceheads, their scales gleaming in the beams of the smugglers' flashlights, were caught unawares their deadly reflexes no match for the experienced hunters. As the night wore on and their cages began to fill with venomous captives, a sense of triumph, fueled by greed and arrogance, began to take hold of the smugglers. Capitao, his pockets bulging with vials of venom, urged his men to press deeper into the island's interior. But their greed would prove to be their undoing. Joao, dreaming of riches, strayed too far from the group, his eyes blinded by avarice. As he reached for a golden lancehead, the snake struck. Joao's scream shattered the smugglers' complacency. They rushed to his aid, but it was too late. The venom was already coursing through Joao's veins. Capitao ordered his men back to the boat. They fled the island in terror. Their hastily gathered spoils a paltry consolation for the life they had lost. They left behind the body of their fallen comrade a grim reminder of the island's deadly embrace. The allure of the unknown has always held a powerful sway over the human spirit. For scientists, the natural world is a vast puzzle, its secrets waiting to be unlocked. In the late 1990s, two biologists set their sights on Ilha da Coimada Grande, drawn by scientific inquiry. They were driven by a thirst for knowledge, a desire to understand nature. They knew the risks but believed careful planning could mitigate the danger. Their mission to study the golden lanceheads in their natural habitat to collect venom samples for analysis. They were granted special permission from the Brazilian government, their expedition subject to strict guidelines, their backpacks laden with equipment cameras, notebooks, snake hooks, and vials. They moved with cautious determination, their eyes constantly scanning the undergrowth, their ears attuned to the slightest rustle or hiss each passing hour, bringing them closer to nightfall when the golden lanceheads would be most active. And the biologists realized they had ventured too deep, their fascination overriding caution. They scrambled to set up camp, the threat of a viper encounter increasing. One biologist stumbled, his foot landing on a golden lancehead. The snake, startled, reacted instinctively, its fangs sinking deep into his leg. A strangled cry escaped the biologist's lips as searing pain shot through his leg. The venom, a potent cocktail of neurotoxins already beginning its deadly work. His companion, face ashen with fear, rushed to his side. The isolation of their location and the lack of anti-venom hit him hard. They had no way to call for help. The surviving biologist could only watch helplessly as his friend succumbed to the venom. Time has done little to diminish the deadly allure of Ilha de Coimada Grande. Even with all our technological advancements, the island's reputation as a place of immense danger remains potent. 
The Brazilian government's restrictions have reduced human encounters, but the island's grip persists. Stories of those venturing too close remind us that nature's power is not easily subdued. Fishermen report seeing golden lanceheads sunning on the rocks, their scales shimmering like liquid gold in the sunlight. In 2010, a documentary film crew, their cameras poised to capture the raw beauty and deadly secrets of Ilha de Queimada Grande, experienced firsthand the island's unforgiving nature. Armed with permits and protective gear, they set foot on the island, their every move documented, their safety paramount. They were there to tell the island's story, to share its wonders and its warnings with the world. As they navigated the island's treacherous terrain, their cameras capturing the intricate dance of life and death that played out around them, one of the cameramen, his focus on capturing the perfect shot, strayed too close to a viper's nest. In a flash, a golden lancehead, its scales blending seamlessly with the surrounding foliage, struck, its fangs sinking into the cameraman's ankle. The cameraman's scream, a piercing sound that shattered the stillness of the rainforest, sent a chill through the hearts of his companions. They immediately sprang into action, their training kicking in, their voices calm and steady as they administered first aid and radioed for help. Within hours, a helicopter arrived, its blades churning the air as it descended onto the island's small helipad. The cameraman, his life hanging in the balance, was airlifted to a hospital on the mainland where he received anti-venom and emergency medical treatment. He survived, but his close call served as a stark reminder that even with the best preparation and precautions, the island's dangers are ever-present, its grip on those who dare to enter its domain unwavering. Nature's Sanctuary, Humanity's Warning Ilha de Queimada Grande stands as a testament to nature's power, a place where humanity treads lightly. The golden lanceheads symbolize fear and fascination, their venom a reminder of nature's balance. The Brazilian government restricts access to protect life, preserving the island as a natural laboratory, a sanctuary for the golden lanceheads. The island warns us to respect nature's boundaries. The Brazilian government's decision to declare Ilha da Queimada Grande a restricted area, a sanctuary for the golden lanceheads and the unique ecosystem they inhabit, was a difficult but necessary one. It was a recognition that some places are simply too dangerous for human habitation, that the preservation of life, both human and animal, sometimes requires a hands-off approach. Yet, the island's allure persists, drawing the curious and the foolhardy, those who believe they can outwit nature, who underestimate the power of the golden lanceheads and the unforgiving environment they call home. The stories of those who have ventured onto the island's shores both in the distant past and in more recent times serve as cautionary tales, reminders that nature's power is not to be trifled with. The golden lanceheads, with their potent venom and lightning-fast reflexes, are the undisputed masters of Ilha da Queimada Grande. They are a testament to the power of evolution, their existence a testament to the adaptability of life, the ability to thrive in even the most challenging of environments. As we've journeyed through the history of Ilha da Queimada Grande, exploring its most terrifying incidents, we've been confronted with the raw power of nature its indifference to human ambition and desire. It's a humbling experience, a reminder that for all our technological advancements, we are still subject to the whims of the natural world, to the forces that have shaped our planet for millennia. Ilha da Queimada Grande is more than just a place of danger. It is a place of immense beauty, with lush vegetation, pristine beaches, and crystal clear waters. Its unique ecosystem offers invaluable insights into evolution and adaptation. As we leave Ilha da Queimada Grande, let us carry a sense of awe and respect for nature. Recognize that there are still places where nature reigns supreme. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Latest Study IQ for more interesting videos.